Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm going to talk about a company that you can buy your soap supplies from. I know I have a lot of soapers that watch my videos, and if you've never heard of them, I'm sure you have, but it's bescented.com, and the lady that owns it's name is Jennifer, and sh her channel on YouTube is a and Suds and Such, and she has a ton of videos, tutorials, she gives recipes, and she also has a group on Facebook, it's Be Scented, and she, I ordered some things from her recently, and she said that, uh, she drew my name and sent me a completely separate box, and it said surprise box on it, and I was so excited, and she sent me four Ziploc bags full of one ounce fragrances to test out, and her and I have been in contact with each other, and we have decided that for you, those of you who are interested in maybe trying her fragrances for the first time or your return customer either way, um, we're going to be, she is going to be generously offering a 10% off code, and this video will go up April 14th, and it, the sale will go on for one month, so you can use the code YELLOW starting today, and for one month until May 14th, you can get 10% off your fragrance oil purchase. So, I have used a couple of these, and I'm using a couple today, I'm using um, a pink grapefruit, and a sweet berry licious, I believe. Um, but I've smelled them all, and they're all wonderful. So this is Beach by Bobbi Brown. It's a fragrance dupe, and this is one of my most popular fragrances that I sell here. It, this is what I use for my beach bum soap. So I will be buying more of this fragrance from her. And I have tobacco leaf, tobacco and bay leaf, which I've seen her, I watch all her videos. I've seen her use this kind, and I had never smelled it before, and it's wonderful. It is, it is so good. If you were looking for a man, this would be great for a woman too, but if you're looking for a new um, scent, I highly recommend tobacco and bay leaf. Also, she sent me Lavender Sage, which my lavender customers are going to love because this smells really good. Um, let's see. Those are just the two bottles, empty bottles, that I'm using in today's. So, um, Dracar Type. Um, I had an ex-boyfriend in high school that used to wear this. So, I'm going to smell it again and see if it reminds me, if it takes me back. And it does. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And on her labels, it's really nice. It tells you the flash point. It also tells you if there is vanillin in it or not. So these little one ounce bottles um, are great if you want to just sample a fragrance because I know a lot of you guys make a small sample loaf to test a fragrance. Um, Burst of Energy, I know, I think she said in her videos this is one of her best sellers. And it is just a fruit explosion, and it's very fresh and clean and just makes me happy. So that one is really nice. Let's see what else we have. We have French Lavender and Honey, and this is a Bath and Body Works dupe. And oh, so, so nice. And it's not at all what I thought it would smell like. I'm not the hugest lavender fan, but combined with the honey, this is great. And I think it's mild enough that it's not, some people don't like, you know, a strong, strong fragrance. It's really nice. Oatmeal Milk and Honey, which is your classic. I think every single soaper in the world uses this fragrance. It's just one you should keep in stock. It is wonderful. Great for a man or a woman or anyone. Pink Sands, I've heard her say, this is a Yankee Candle dupe. I've heard her say in her videos she loves, loves this one. And I can see why. It is amazing. And this does have like 0.4%, 0.40% vanillin, so it may discolor a tiny bit. But I love that she puts that on her bottle so you can kind of plan your design knowing if it has vanillin in it or not. 
we have spiced cranberry, which is a good seller of mine in the fall season. And it is exactly like you would imagine. A spicy cranberry. You can smell cinnamon and probably nutmeg. Suit and tie. I have never smelled this one before. Mmm. Really nice. I bet you women would like that one too. Oh, I almost spilled my cream. I need a bigger table. We're in search of a stainless steel table. But I can tell you, to buy new, those babies are expensive. So I'm looking for a used one because I need a bigger workspace and pear and pomegranate. I've never soaked with this, I don't believe. And another just amazing, fruity, yummy, very yummy fragrance. Rosemary Mint. This I made a Rosemary Peppermint Essential Oil and just posted the video today, actually. And this is a little bit different um, because it's fragrance oil as opposed to essential oil. So it's definitely different, but I do like it a lot. We've got Coconut Cabana by Bath & Body Works. Mm, that just smells like you're on a tropical island with palm trees blowing and you're drinking a pina colada. Clean and fresh. I'm assuming this is kind of like a laundry scent. And it is. It's like you walked in your laundry room and it's like a fabric softener or something yummy. So these are all the fragrances I got in a surprise box. So if you guys order from her, she puts your name into a drawing. And I'm not positive how often she draws, but they draw a name and you won't even know you're getting it. You'll just get a surprise box if your name is drawn. So again, the code is yellow and you can do that at checkout over on her web website. It's www.bscented, that's B-E-S-C-E-N-T-E-D.com and put the code in yellow and you will get 10% off your fragrance oil purchase until May 14th. So I'm just going to put these away and we are going to get started with the soap. Okay, I wanted to show you real quick. I'm using my slab molds. This one I got from Custom Craft Tools, which is here like three hours away in Charleston, South Carolina. And one thing I'm gonna try today, I've used this a couple of times and I keep trying to test little things for easier unmolding. And I sprayed some rubbing alcohol on the very bottom of this mold. I think I need to do a little bit more in the corners to make it stick to the bottom because I'm hoping that this will make it a smooth, just peel off so the bottom is really smooth. Um, I was having a little bit of trouble getting it off, and it, like I said before, it could be my recipe. I don't think it's anything to do with the mold, but because I'm stubborn and I don't want to change my recipe to more hard oils, I am trying to figure out other ways to make sure I can get it out um, without damaging it. So I will be putting the dividers in this after I pour the soap. And like I said, it's a rainbow soap, so it's going to be all the colors of the rainbow plus white just because I like white for a little bit of contrast. So I have all my containers and I'm gonna mix this up with my lye solution and get started. I'm just gonna do um, kind of a full funnel pour all over and then I'm gonna kind of spin my mold possibly on my turntable or maybe not, I'm not sure yet. So let's get started.
unmold this soap and as you can see I've taken some a couple of the sides off I will eventually show you guys taking the whole thing apart but until I really uh, get a hold of you know how long I need to leave it in the mold and how what's gonna help it come out easier um, I always thought that molds once you use them more they seem to be a little bit easier to unmold and I did put this in the freezer for a short time. This has been about 48 hours since I made it. So probably if I left it another day, I might not have a hard time. But I did put it in the freezer and as it started to thaw, I was able to kind of slide off the side pieces. Now I'm just gonna kind of, um, hopefully you can see. You don't wanna you know, pull it because it's gonna rip your side. So I'm just kind of sliding it slowly. Woo! I guess not slowly. But the one good thing is I know it didn't stick on the bottom because of the freezer paper I put down. Now, what I did is I just took my clear little sheet that's under here that you usually would pour the soap on. I can't get it. It's stuck. Um, and I measured out a piece of, you know, cut out a tray stick, cut out the freezer paper. I sprayed some rubbing alcohol on the thin sheet, and then I put the freezer paper on top so that it would kind of stick to it because I didn't want the soap to go underneath the paper. So as you can see, it slides right off. And so that is one feet accomplished because that's what I struggled with last time. I will conquer this mold because I know a lot of you purchased it after you, sorry I bumped the camera, after you saw me use it. So I want to figure it out so I can help you guys be able to unmold it. I love the mold because of how I can do different pores in it and all of that. So, but as you can see, these are the sides that came off and they're really clean. Um, which is much better than the last time that I made it. And I'm thinking the last time possibly the fragrance oil kept it a little bit softer for, I think it was three or four days. And I think that's why I had issues with it, the strawberry one. So freezer paper, definitely a great idea because it worked perfectly. So I can do it one of two ways. I can try to pull these up, but they're a little bit slippery and I don't have a good grip. So I think what I'm going to do is rip the paper. I'm going to just slowly slide them. Let me do this one. This one did have a slight little piece damaged up here, like a little crack, but otherwise it's fine. So this is going to be the side that shows because that's the prettier side. Um, I'm going to go up with it, I guess. And there's, come on, that one. I may have over spun it, but I was trying to get the middle glob to swirl. That was my problem. So um, I'm going to, I guess, do the edges first. This one comes right off. And I'll probably clean these up, you know, just kind of use the, like I showed you on the one video, use your um, potato peeler and just kind of clean up the sides. Um, they're not as thick as I wanted, but I will increase my, my um, batch size a little bit next time so they're a little thicker. But that one's kind of cool. looks like lava. That's cool, you can see around it. Mmm, smells so good too. So these are gonna come out really easily, so I'm really happy. Um, I'll just do it another, look, I can peel the paper right off and push it down, it's perfect. Um, whoa, that wasn't a good thing. So, Guys, don't forget the code starts today. If you're interested in buying fragrance oils from bscented.com, um, you use the code yellow from today for uh, till May 14th, and you get 10% off all your fragrance oils, which is a great deal. Let me unmold one more, and then I need to get the video uploaded so that the coupon can be working today. And I'm shipping, so... 
One more. Arr. I really like this one. That one's pretty. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.